Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> For today's video, I'm really hyped. I'm really excited because I have been collecting CDs slash cassettes for like, well, cassettes I've been collecting for like maybe since the beginning of last year, but like I haven't collected too many. CDs though, I have collected a good amount of CDs. And I'm just gonna show you guys my little haul. And I'm also going to tell you guys my top three favorite songs on each CD. Cause I think it'd be kind of fun, like it'd be kind of fun. But yeah, let's get into it. So I think I'm gonna tell you guys the CDs I've gotten like from when I first got them till now, at least I'm gonna try to do that. And then I'll do my cassettes at the end cause I don't have that many. So let's get started. So the first CD I got, um, this is no surprise. Honestly, because I love Taylor Swift and if you guys follow me, you know that I love Taylor Swift So the first CD that I like ever purchased was Folklore I love this CD so much like a lot of other Swifties This is a CD that I can literally just put on play and just listen all the way through. Um, here's the cover This is the inside. It's so pretty. Sorry I'm also filming when the Sun is like coming down. So like if the lighting changes like sorry about it But and my favorite Favorite songs on this right now it's probably exile like always mirror ball and Betty those are my favorites right now those are my favorites right now okay I believe this is the next CD I got so I got guts I love this album I love this album so much in the inside it's really cute I love it and like the little Ugh, I just love it so much off this album my favorites are probably I love pretty isn't pretty vampire <laughs> I love Vampire. And probably Lacey. Or All American Bitch. Oh my god. I don't know. I love all of these. All American Bitch, Vampire, and Lacey probably is my top three. Okay, the next CD I got, I actually got at Barnes and Noble. Um, I was just in there getting a book and I was like, I think I'm gonna get it. So I got it. I got the Evermore CD right here. I just love Evermore. It's it's like a warm hug. I just I love it so much. I still have the little folklore Disney Plus Long Pond Studio sessions in here. Um, and this is what it looks like. And like, look at this CD. Like, I love it so much. And her like little booklet things, like her little like prologues, I love them. I love all of them. I read all of them. I love all of them. But my favorites off here are probably, obviously, Champagne Problems. Tolerate It and Right Where You Left Me. I love that song. I actually was listening to that song right before I started filming this. So, yeah. I got Midnight. Oh, no, that's upside down. I got Midnight's right after I got Evermore because I was just on a Taylor Swift roll. This is just the standard CD, so it is just like the purple. Like that, like look at her. It's like, bro, like she serves, like she really does. And like this prologue is so good too. Like it's so, it, and this one's really long, but it's it's really good. I actually do listen to Midnight's a lot. Like I, as soon as I got the CD, like this was probably one that I played like the most. Like I played this so much. And my favorites right now are probably, Lavender Haze. Every single time that song comes on, I listen to it. So probably Lavender Haze. Um, I don't know. It changes. My favorites change. So I don't know. I would just say Lavender Haze, Bejeweled, and Vigilante shit. Because I also did just listen to that song. And it's so good. Okay. my. <laughs> I swear, I have more CDs than Taylor Swift. Like, if you are not a Swifty, just, I'll put, like, a timestamp here if you, like, want to skip to, like, all my other CDs. But I got 1989, Taylor's version, right here. And with the standard version, it came with the Welcome to New York. I really wish I had the original with all the Polaroids, but it's okay. And then it also has her little face here. And then it just has the little 1989 right in there. Really cute, really cute. Look at that. It's so cute. And like this, like, oh. and my favorites on here, ugh, I don't know. I've really been into Say we, Say Don't Go. Like that song has really been my go-to right now. So probably Say Don't Go, Out of the Woods, and New Romantics. But I also love How to Get the Girl and like, I wish you would, like it. Next, I got Fearless, Taylor's version. I don't really listen to this album that much. And when I do, I play from like the first CD and I don't really bother playing the second CD because all the good songs are on the first CD. So like, I never really play the second CD, but I do really like this album and it just brings me so much joy. This is what the first CD is like. This is the second one. I do like the second one though. It's really, really cute. And obviously there's no like, fancy prologues or anything because this was her first re-record and my favorites off this right now i really love hey steven you belong with me will always be a bob and fearless those songs i can just play all day and 
yeah. Okay, now we're getting into something different. Yay, we're getting into something different. I got a lot of CDs for Christmas and like during Christmas time. So most of these I got like at the same time, but I'm pretty sure I know which one I got first. Yeah, I do. Harry Styles, self-titled. I freaking love this album. I actually did Harry Styles ranking. If you want to click here, I don't know which side it is. And like, look at how like simple it is. It's so nice and simple. The inside, nice and simple. Like it's just a CD you can put on and just jam out, honestly. But I really do love Carolina, Two Ghosts, and Kiwi. I love those songs so much. Oh wait, or Ever Since New York. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, next up, I got this from my friend Joel because um, our birthdays and Christmas is like very, it's all in December. So like we gave each other like a Christmas birthday gift and he got me Phoebe Bridger's Strangers in the Alps. I really like this album because I can just like throw it on and it all kind of sounds the same. Not to be like shady, like I'm fine with it sounding the same, but it all kind of sounds the same. So it's like, I can just throw it on and be doing anything like homework, anything. I'm like not distracted. This is also a paperback. And the CD is in like, it has this little thing like this. And then the CD is like that. And then the little log thing is also in here, which I love that picture of Phoebe. It's kind of like Harry, like it's very simple. Like there's not much to it, but I still love it. And my favorite songs on here, I love Funeral a lot. Georgia and Smoke Signals. So yeah. Okay, these next CDs, I got them all on Christmas, so I'm just gonna like go through them because I got them all at the same time. This CD, I love with my whole entire heart. And like, I, oh my God, this is probably my favorite CD in my collection. Noah Khan, Stick Season, please tell me why this is like the perfect album. And even like the deluxe and the forever that he just came, like it's so good. Like I don't, like there's no skips on this album. There is no skips. This CD is probably the CD I play the most out of any of my other ones. This is the inside, which I think is honestly like really cool. And even just like the little, like it's again, it's simple, but it's really cute. Um, My favorites on here, I can't even really pick to be honest. Like I actually love like, all the songs everywhere everything orange juice northern altitude stick season she calls me back <sighs> homesick like i i love all the songs in here so this this cd it's my baby i i love the cd this next cd i have actually been wanting for so long and when i got it i screamed and shit myself and all the above igor this is the first album that made me fall in love with like loving albums for themselves and not like making playlists. Like I could just listen to this album all day. And like, look at the inside. I love the inside so much. The CD has Eeyore on it. Yeah, and this was on Urban Outfitters, I think. Um, And the thing I like about this CD is that it has a song, Boyfriend. Look at that, Boyfriend, right there. So yeah, I really like listening to Boyfriend um, cause I can't listen to it anywhere else. Yeah, this is honestly probably like one of my second most played, maybe next to like Taylor Swift, obviously, but yeah. I love Igor and Tyler Creator so, so much. So, so, so much. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, my favorite on here are probably, I think, Are We Still Friends? Oh, um, I don't know. I love this album. Are We Still Friends? What's Good? And I think, those are my favorites right now. Like, I, I just, I love this whole album, so it's kind of hard to choose three. Um, this next CD that I have, Bon Ivers, For Emma Forever Go. I love this CD. It's very comforting to me. I don't actually listen to it that often, but when I do, it's just like... This is the inside. It's pretty basic to be honest. I just have a additional little flap here. The CD is pretty basic. It, you know, just has the title tracks on it. But yeah, my favorite songs on here at the moment are probably Flume, Skinny Love, and For Emma. Taylor Swift again. <laughs> This is the only one that I got for Christmas because I like almost already had all of them But I did ask for the red album because the vault tracks on this are just way too good Honestly, like I don't even really listen to the first CD Which that's what the first one looks like all of my plays from this album are on the second CD Taylor's version love like love 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 like honestly like her best vault tracks are on this album Yeah, I would say my favorite is I bet you think about me, All Too Well, 10 Minute, and Better Man. Oh, I love Better Man. I love Better Man, but yes. And then my next two, my prized possessions, my babies. I love these so much. We'll just go on the orders that she released them. So first I have Cry Baby. I love this CD, not only because of the cute, adorable back to this, it literally is 
the story. Like, bro, it's the whole story. It's so cute. Aesthetically wise, like Cry Baby is my favorite CD aesthetically because it she just did such a good job on it and like even down to the cd like look at that like it's so it's so cute it's so cute and my favorites on here they change all the time but right now probably alphabet boy training wheels and pity party i love pity party i love pity party and then k through 12 this album is probably my favorite from hers um portals is good but k through 12 did something to me it's it's so good and like this is what it looks like like that and that's her little here. This pamphlet is like really thick and she also like look it like looks like a composition book when you first open it up And it has like a little like class schedule like isn't that so cute? That's so cute So these are all my CDs that I have. I think I have 15 I think um and I'm not done collecting so I'll be doing another video once I have my collection like bigger but yeah, I love all my CDs and and that's me giving a thumbnail, um, but no, I love all my CDs, and now we're gonna go move on to the cassettes, which shouldn't take too long, because I don't have that many, but I'm just not in the video. Um, so first, I have some cassettes that my mom just, like, gave to me. I have the, um, Britney Spears Oops, I Did It Again, and, oh, this one I actually bought at, like, a cassette shop. I literally never listened to these two, like, at all, but, like, they're still here, I guess, you know? The next one that I got was the Backseat Lovers, which... They are very underrated. Like if you don't listen to Backseat Lovers, please listen to them, they're so freaking good. Look at that, look at that back. Look at that, it's so cute. I don't listen to this that much, but when I first did get a cassette player, I did listen to this a lot. And then after that, I got the Midnight's cassette. I do like the CD better, but the cassette is still pretty. Like, look at that blue. It's really pretty, so yeah. I believe next I got Guts. Guts and Midnight's are my only two like duplicate like vinyls, I guess, but I do really like how this looks. Obviously I listen to the CD so I don't really use the cassette, but if I ever do wanna use the cassette, it's here to listen, so. Yeah. Okay, next, I low-key sometimes forget that I have this. I have the Speak Now cassette, Taylor's version. I wish I listened to this more, but I don't, just because it's like less convenient than listening to all the Taylor Swift CDs I have. But I do, I did listen to this cassette a lot when I got it. After I got that, I think this was next. I'm pretty sure. I have Conan Gray Super Ache, which this is probably my most played on cassette, because I do really love this album. And this is what it looks like. Looks like that. And then my last two cassettes, um, they're both Billie Eilish. I have When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, and Happier Than Ever. I honestly don't really listen to these that much. If they were on CD, I would probably listen to them more, but I really don't listen to them that much, and I like really should, because like, why am I gonna buy them if I don't listen to them? But I did listen to them a little bit when I first got them. And then Happier Than Ever, this is what it looks like on the inside. There was a pink version, but I was like, I think I'm gonna get the version that matches the aesthetic more. But yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. But that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, please. That would really help me out. And subscribe if you wanna see more content from me cause I'm on my YouTube grind and I upload every single Thursday and I upload shorts like many times a day. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.